Welcome back to Stir It Up. We are here today getting ready to make some easy peasy, fast and easy, fantastico fruit salad. Actually, it's a fruit ambrosia. Don't let the word fool you. A matter of fact, I may just change it to ambrosia on my original recipe. So what we're gonna do, we are going to use Cool Whip, if you've got time to make the good stuff, do it. We are going to use pineapple mini chocolate chips. Those are optional, but not for me. We're going to use mini marshmallows. We're gonna use mandarin oranges, maraschino cherries. You gotta have them if possible. We've got some fruit cocktail, walnuts, and you can use any nut of your choice, but that's what I had. We've got uh, sweetened coconut, always sweetened, it's always best, and believe it or not, apples, bananas, and sour cream. Don't question me, you're gonna love it. The first thing that we are going to do is to chop our apples, which I've already done. So I have right here one and a half apples, all right? So we're going to drop them into our big mixing bowl. And remember, you can do this while your kids are vacuuming the floor, which you know they will not do a good job. We're gonna take one banana and possibly two bananas. I just haven't decided yet because it's all going by taste. We're going to open them up. We're gonna slice vertically and we're gonna slice horizontally because we want kind of some bitey chunks. The bananas and the apples, they both go brown quickly. That's why I want to do them as quickly as I can. I'm gonna put them in and that way I can start putting everything else on top of them. To get some juices and everything, we want to make sure that things hold their pretty color if at all possible. This is about 16 ounces of our sour cream, okay? We're gonna put this in and that's good. And what a pretty glass, right? This happens to be just because it's what I had on hand. Okay, we did not run out to the store and go, hey, let's buy some more pineapple. This happens to be larger chunks, but that's okay. This is a whole can, the 16 ounce can. We're gonna dump it right in. Not the juice yet. I have already taken the time to chop up some of the apples. We're gonna do those, dump those in. This recipe is so fast, so easy, so wonderful. You won't have a, a little teaspoon of it left. If you've got last minute company dropping by, you've got the house to clean up, you've got all kinds of crap going on and you're going, what am I gonna do? And you don't think that you have anything to give them, you do. Almost everybody's pantry will have most of these things. And if some of them are not available, don't worry about it, 86 them. So we've got our pineapple and we've got our sour cream, our apples and our bananas. And you know what? I'm gonna put my hair back. I forgot. And we all know we need our hair back. Fruit cocktail, we're gonna pop it in here. It's a whole can. And yeah, you're gonna drain it a little bit, but don't, you know, don't lose any sleep over not having all of the, all of the juice out of there because we're gonna add some in in a little bit anyway. Mandarin oranges, not your little tiny little petite can, okay? Give them some oranges and it's okay. Leave some juice in there. We're gonna add a little bit anyway. Slide that over to the side. We're gonna take our mafia knife and we're going to give these walnuts just a little bit of a chop Okay, I don't want to do too small of a bite, but we don't want people to go, I can't chew this. So we're going to drop them in. We're going to take maraschino cherries. If you don't have them, that's okay. So I'm not going to use the whole jar. This was like a 10 ounce jar. I'm going to use probably half of the 10 ounce jar. Okay, <laughs> maybe a little more than a half. We're gonna save the rest just to put a couple on top just because it's so pretty. Um, we're gonna use just a couple handfuls. This, you don't actually have to have these little miniature marshmallows, but aren't they cute? Honestly, I'm not a huge marshmallow person. The big ones and all that, not so much. But these absorb all oh, that really good flavor. It's so good, you can't stand it. We're just gonna take two handfuls Okay, look how quick and easy this is. Two handfuls of the little mini chips. Mini is better, okay? And two big handfuls of our, uh, our sweetened coconut. 
and we're going to save a little tiny bit over just to sprinkle on the top. This is so fast, so easy. We're going to give it a quick stir. That's what we're going to be looking at right now, okay, at this point. So now we're going to come with our whipped cream. Cool Whip, if you've got it, if you can make it homemade, honey, do so. It really is better. Some of the fruit juice that I had left over, I'm just gonna put in just about one cup, okay? And we've got about one container of our whipped cream, and now we're gonna stir it again. We wanted to make sure that we stirred it really well the first time because of all of the sour cream. Sour cream looks a lot like whipped cream, but don't be fooled. You pop it in the refrigerator, and you let it soak up all of those wonderful flavors, all those good juices. They mix and blend so well together. It's just a harmonious thing. If you could hear it, it would be singing to you. It is harmony. You're gonna put it in a bowl that's just a tad smaller, and the reason is because you want it piled high. You want a really nice high profile. Bring it over, we're going to pop it in just a little bit, nice little layer. This is about half of the bowl. A little bit of your chocolate chips, a bit more whipped cream. Pop that in here. Smear that around, just a pretty little layer. We want just a couple little added bites. It's just a nice little treat to bite into a cherry. Kids love them. And if you have any left, put them in the bottom of a little glass of Sprite, a little juice glass of Sprite. They feel so special. And now is where we come to building your high profile for it, okay? It's sitting up just a little bit above the edge. Now we're gonna dress it up. Add a little bit more, okay? Just a little bit, just to make it pretty. Give it a little crunch. All right, I'm not gonna spread this all the way to the edges. We are trying to pile it high for the sake of presentation. All right, when you have company and you're throwing together a quick little dessert straight out of your pantry in 10 minutes, presentation will make up for a lot. Do another cherry and another little cherry. Yeah, let's leave it at three. Three is good. I'm telling you, you guys don't know what you're missing because I'm getting ready to eat this in just a minute. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I love it, and I know you guys will love it. It turns out so cute. You can put it straight into like a nice stemmed glass. You could put it over banana bread. You can put it over pound cake. You can just have it out of a bowl. It doesn't matter. It goes with everything. Have a cup of coffee. Enjoy yourself. But this is our wonderful fruit ambrosia, and I am so glad that it's done because, frankly, I'm... I'm starving too.